Hi everyone, how are you? Hope everybody is doing good. Okay. So one of my customer came to me and said uh, he has uh, around 5.5 kilowatt motor, uh, but he need uh, like a smooth start solution. He told me that he used the dual starter, but still the dual starter uh, while starting it's make noise uh, in that even uh, sometimes the motor uh, base makes uh, damages. Okay. And the starter to starter also, uh, there is no different, uh, much different between um, device starter and starter to starter. Still, still, he want to try VFD, but still it is expensive. So he asked me, is there any solution? Yes, obviously. Okay. So I told him, boss, there is one solution available. It's called sub starter. He told me, yes, okay. He knows, but he never tried. Okay. So I told him that we will give you a solution for him. So we made a panel for him. Um, it's for FAHU solution, okay? So, air handling and DHU solution. So, many people, uh, they have no idea. So, what is substarters uh, for 5.5 kilowatts, 7.5 kilowatt? Some people directly, they will go with a dual starters. What happens when they will go with a dual starter for 5.5 kilowatt, 7.5 kilowatt? The starting current, okay? The st when they are starting frequently per day, so they will have a huge uh, power loss as well as the mechanical damages, okay. So, for using DOL stutter and star delta stutter for 5.5 uh, or above 7.5, 11 kilowatt, the main disadvantage is, is power loss and also mechanical damages. And if it is uh, duct connected motors, then there is a huge sound in the ducts, okay. So to avoid this, okay, you, you can go with the VFDs. If you want to control this VFD, you can go with the VFD. VFD will do the smooth start, but still, when there is no need of speed control and when there is a cost effect, obviously you have to go with the soft starter. Okay, so I'm recommending you go with soft starters where you don't want to do any speed control if the motor rating is minimum 4 to 11 kilowatt. Okay, or above. So, what is the main advantage of using soft start race? As I told you, mainly. Um, Power savings. Okay, you can ask me, bro, how it is savings the power? Okay, I will tell you. When you are using star delta starter and uh, dual starter, dual starter starting current, how many times of uh, starting current it will take from full load current? Probably eight times or uh, six times. Some motor, if it is heavy duty motor, 12 times, you know. Even star delta starters, uh, it may reduce two times of uh, two times of starting current from dual starter. Okay, if uh, per day if it is starts more than three times, four times, you calculate how much current it will, be, how much power it will be wasted by only starting. Okay, so for avoiding this, you can go with the soft starter, which is an electronic starter. Okay, which will give you smooth start your motor. Okay, obviously you can ask me when we when you use this soft starter, there is no starting current. Yes. It will take starting current higher than the full load current, but it's maximum two times. Okay, so when you compare uh, six times, eight times, two times is better than this one, right? Okay, so obviously when it is taking two times, uh, minimum two times of full load current, you can uh, you can avoid power loss as well as mechanical damage and the motor life. Okay, so these are the main advantage of using the sub starters. Okay. Here we have one sub starters. Okay, so this is 5.5 kilowatt motor. Exactly, we designed, and I have connected a small motor with this uh, sub starters. Okay, now we will see how this is starting and what is the current and the starting voltage it is giving to the motor while it is starting. Okay, so as I told, this is uh, this is basic type sub uh, starter. Okay, this is for 5.5 kilowatt motor. So since it is basic type motor, it has uh, it will do only smooth start stop. Uh, there is no any overload inbuilt uh, means overload protection inbuilt with these sub starters. Okay. So if you go with any advanced one, so it has many other functions. So it is only 5.5 kilowatts. So we have uh, uh, designed with the basic sub starters. Okay. So I have considered the external contactor with the overload relay for overload protection. Okay. Now. We will start the motor. We will see, okay, how this is starting. What is the starting current and running current it is taking? Okay. First, I'm starting now. So it is taking 2.5 ampere. Okay. So running current is almost 0.9. It is almost uh, 2 by 2 times or 2.5 times. Okay. So, so. This is how your sub starter is reducing the starting current of your motor. 
okay so now we will see uh, how it is uh, reducing the starting current okay from when you are starting from dol so when you are starting from dol what happens the full voltage is going directly to the motor so it is taking a uh, high starting current now what soft starters will do when starting you can see here you can adjust the initial voltage okay from full voltage it is ready from uh, starting uh, it will it will not give full voltage it will give from uh, minimum voltage from maximum voltage so now we will see what is the minimum voltage it is giving now i'm starting okay so gradually it is increasing from low voltage to full voltage so this is how it is reducing the starting current okay okay you can ask me bro from which uh, rating we can go with the soft starters obviously if it is uh, motor is important for you you can consider the soft starters okay but my recommendation go with from 4 kW from 4 and above uh, motors if you are not controlling the speed go with soft starters okay so from soft starters you can save power and your motor and your maintenance okay so next time if you are uh, designing any panels or if you are designing any machines so make sure uh, your motor kilowatt as per that you choose your starters okay so thanks for watching if you have any doubt please let me know okay and if you have any doubts write in the comments I will give you any uh, kind of reply or any help, okay? So, we will see you in next video. Till then, bye from Senapa.